excited to get back into these lure reviews that feature the hollow body frogs. These are some of my favorite lures to fish of all time. And I was really excited to show this lure to you guys. This is the Savage Gear Hollow Frog Imitation Legs. Tackle Warehouse has two different versions of this frog. They have one that is the imitation legs, which is the one that you have here that looks kind of like the real frog. And then they have one that is the action legs. And kind of similar to the, to the real one or the imitation legs, except for they curl in a little bit more and they look a little bit more like a soft plastic frog kind of like a like a toad that you would burn on top of the water and it's just like the name would suggest with the action legs i assume that you would just burn it back to the, to the boat on a steady t on a steady retrieve or something like that but i elected to buy the imitation legs tackle warehouse is selling two different versions of this frog they're selling a two and three quarter inch version and then they're selling this one which is two and a quarter inch in length and it has a weight of two thirds of an ounce the savage gear is kind of known for coming out with stuff that is really lifelike in their appearance. And this this frog really isn't any different. They talk about this coming from a 3D scan of an actual frog. So it does look really lifelike and realistic, especially when you're looking at it from the bottom there, which is probably the most important part because that's what the fish is basically going to see. I did find out some, some interesting things about this frog when I was fishing out on the water that I wanted to pass on to you guys. So I'll get to that here in a moment, but I just kind of want to give you a little tour of the frog. I've heard of people having issues with the legs pulling out. I haven't experienced that personally. I think that these legs just go all the way through the body and to the other side. So I think this is just a one piece leg design that just passes through the body here. It only features one hook. You'll see that it has a weight down there in the belly. It has the arms that are just kind of molded into the body of the lure. You can actually see all the definition in the legs of this frog. It's actually pretty impressive. Something that I noticed about the frog is that the paint is starting to peel here a little bit. Um, it was starting to peel on the bottom and I knew it was going to start peeling on the top here. I'm sure that this thing isn't going to last forever, but as far as the paint job is concerned, it isn't going to last forever. But everything else seems to be holding up very nicely with this frog. Something else that I noticed on the water is I didn't, I didn't observe any extra water being taken on by the body of this frog. Uh, not any more than you would find in an average topwater hollow body frog. I mean, there was certainly a little bit of leakage that was going into the cavity of the frog, but uh, nothing that would prohibit you from, from continuing to use it. I mean, every now and then just kind of give it a little squeeze to get some of that water out of there, but nothing that I would consider a sinking frog. I mean, they're, they're certainly out there. Those frogs are certainly out there that sink a lot, but this one definitely isn't one of them. How this frog sits in the water, it sits completely straight up and down in the water like this. It's actually almost completely vertical. Uh, it might have a little bit of a cant to it, but uh, it's it's nearly straight up and down. It actually looks nice, I'm sure, for the bass. I think that this frog is probably a little bit better at dead sticking than it is in the action department. I know a lot of you guys like to walk frogs. I personally like to pop them, so I give the rod tip a couple pops. I would say in either department, either walking or popping, this frog really doesn't do that good a job in either of those departments. I think it does really well in the dead sticking where you just kind of like cast it out there and let it sit there and let the bass come up and take a look at it because it does look ultra realistic. The fact that it sits almost vertical in the water doesn't lend itself to being able to twitch easy, I guess, because you do have to kind of get it up on plane and these legs are heavy. They make the frog want to sit almost completely straight up and down. It was definitely not familiar territory for me. It wasn't something that you can just pick up and and just start using and thinking that it's gonna behave like any other frog that you've used in the past because of the fact that it doesn't have rubber silicone legs um, that are just the silicone or rubber strands. It, it has these, uh, I guess, realistic legs as, as they call them. There are pros and cons that I, that I observed with this frog. It does look ultra realistic, but it doesn't behave like your normal top water hollow body frog that you're probably used to using. If anything, there's definitely going to be some learning curve there. Also, it is a silent frog. There's no rattle inside of it. As far as the colors are concerned, this first one that I want to show you is called Green Leopard Glossy. Uh, just your traditional uh, green leopard design there. Compare it to a Booyah Pad Crasher. Not a popping Pad Crasher, but just the standard Pad Crasher there. These are both like the leopard designs there. Very similar in the paint job, but that's really where their similarities end, I guess, because 
the fact that this thing just, it, it really looks so realistic. Not to say that the Booyah lure doesn't look realistic because it does look realistic, but uh, the Savage Gear just kind of like takes it to a whole new level. This other one that I have here is called Dark Leopard. And Dark Leopard is that same kind of a leopard pattern on the top, but just more kind of charcoal gray. This is where the business is, I guess, which is really, they're both very similar, except for that one on the right has a yellow throat and the one on the left has a, a charcoal gray or a brown throat. This is a really nice lure, you guys, and uh, casting distance is, is very, very respectable. It has that size of like a 55, but it kind of behaves in casting kind of like a 65. And I actually found it interesting because of the fact that I thought that the legs were gonna inhibit the its casting performance. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Savage Gear hollow body frog, you can pick them up at Tackle Warehouse. I think I said that they were $9.99. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. I really appreciate that. Stay tuned for the next review. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It'll give you the direct link to all of my new videos that I have coming out. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, and or Facebook. I'll leave the links down below. You guys can kind of see what's going on either in my personal life or what's going to be going on with the channel uh, in the future. All right, guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.